We are here today on Crystal Acres, which is the alpaca farm on San Juan Island. And we are assembling a temporary mobile aviary that we will be housing family of Western bluebirds in that we will be releasing after uh, they're in the aviary for about 10 days to two weeks. So the San Juan Preservation Trust is a private nonprofit organization and we work with landowners to help them conserve their land. Part of the work besides conservation is also the stewardship of those lands once they're under protection. Part of the stewardship is ensuring that the full web of life is represented. Having all the species that were connected and part of this oak ecosystem is one of our goals, and the western bluebird, of course, being one of those species. The San Juan Islands Western Bluebird Reintroduction Project got off the ground back in 2007. Our focus was to you know, reintroduce this vibrant member of the scary oak ecosystem, but also really use this project as a way to talk about oak conservation and the importance of these habitats. So we are 19 years into this project and we do have the birds coming back every year. We have been working with hundreds of landowners across San Juan Island and Lopez Islands on installing nest boxes so that they have places that they can, they can nest and really use this as a way to spur um, oak and grassland conservation. So the western bluebird used to occur in this area up through the 1960s and then disappeared due to habitat loss, habitat destruction. This is a perfect opportunity to combine shared values of a working land trust with conservation outcomes and use that to our benefit. This project is coordinated also with partners in British Columbia and the goal is to establish a, a regional population that's made up of these smaller local populations. There'd be birds on San Juan Island, there'd be birds on Vancouver Island, birds historically occurred on Whidbey Island. Western bluebird is really a conservation-reliant species. The main reason it probably disappeared is the lack of nesting cavities. It's a secondary cavity nester, and so we've put out these nest boxes throughout the appropriate habitat, and that's kind of been the stimulus to encourage this population to get established. Volunteers at San Juan Preservation Trust are key in making sure that boxes are checked when they are inhabited by western bluebirds. We monitor them through the course of their nesting cycle, and then we also band individuals so that we can look at return rates, sort of a way to evaluate reintroduction success.